GameMaker How To, make the screen follow the player in a situation like this where you have a really large room that doesn't fit on your screen. And what you want to do is you want the screen window to be a little bit smaller but follow the player around. And so you get this situation right now. It's actually fitting the whole thing. But what I want is maybe only to show an area this big. And then as the player moves, that part of the screen follows the player through the room instead of revealing the whole room or a squished room. So let's see how we can do this. Uh, this is built into Game Maker, um, and then it has a lot of options for you to control it to do some neat stuff. So we go to the room itself, and there's a tab here called Views. And in the Views tab, the first thing we have to do is tick Enable the Use of Views. And that sort of turns these features on. And then you'll see here you actually get quite a few views. Later on uh, in a different video, I'll say make the screens follow two players. So you can actually have view zero following player one and view one following player two around, which is sort of a neat two-player game effect. For now, though, we just have one player. Let's use view zero. And we say this view is visible when the room starts. Now you'll see a box was drawn there for us. That's showing what we're going to see. So you'll see here the view in the room, width and height. What I'm going to do is I'm going to say 500 by 500. No, I'm going to make it even smaller. 400 by 400. You'll see you can position it if you wanted. This is just where the view starts. Okay, I'm going to leave it at that. And then it puts this part here, port onto the screen. This basically means where do we want to put this onto the screen. So I'm going to say draw this at 0, 0 for X and Y, the top left corner. And this is important that these numbers, usually you want to match the width and the height that you are picking. If I put 400 for width, 400 for height. That basically means that this 400 by 400 part of the room will be drawn 400 by 400 pixels wide. So there'll be no squishing, no compression, no expanding of the image, right? It'll still look good. If you wanted to, you could do this. You could say do it half the size. Uh, you can try that out, see what it looks like, but the graphics will get a little weird, right, when it squishes it up. So let's leave that at 400, 400. And just see what this does right now, the way this is set. Give it a little run. And you'll see what we have there. Now, it's showing that 400 by 400. We have a big room. And the player can go out of the screen. Now, usually what you want to have happen here is have this thing follow the player. So let's add that behavior in. Just go a little bit lower down here on our menu for the views. And you'll see here what we can do is we can say object following. And you can choose an object, and Game Maker will automatically make this 400 by 400 view follow the player. And then you get a couple options how it will follow. You'll see here I have 32 by 32. I'm just going to change that 50 by 50. Give this a run with following the player just to see what this ends up looking like. That 50 by 50 tells Game Maker when to start scrolling the 400. So when I get 50 pixels within that right edge, so this is 50 pixels right here, that's when the window starts to scroll. And so you see here, I'm never going to scroll up, but I eventually hit the end of the room. And it knows the end of the room and won't go past it. But that's not too bad. Now, if you want the window to follow the player dead in the middle, since the width of my room was 400 by 400, sorry, up here, shouldn't say the width of the room, the width of the view was 400 by 400, you can set this to half that amount. So that if the player goes within 200 or 200 of the edges, then it's going to scroll. And effectively, that just makes it so the room is always scrolling unless they get right near the edge. Game Maker won't go into uh, the unknown space zone way over here, right? Because there's nothing there. Now, not too bad. 
Now, there's a few consequences that come with views, and that happens to do with some of your draw events. But uh, this isn't a bad little feature, especially for adventure games that have slightly larger rooms. And you just like this effect that makes it look like the player's exploring a wide space, right? How big can you make a room? Yeah, I've heard it depends on your video card, a computer's memory. Don't go and make it a million by a million. But you know, I've made thousands by thousands, and it's been totally fine on any modern computer. Anyways, there you go. Uh, not a bad little feature to put into your games. You should check out the next video, which is View Screen Follows Two Players which is a nice little effect. And that's great for having two-player battles or two players working co-op together in some sort of maze adventure game. Thanks for watching.